Hey guys, it's a beautiful fall day. It's a little cool. It's perfect time to be smoke, doing a little cold smoking on our smoker. I'm gonna show you how I built this and how you can easily do one as well. Fall is always a crazy time for us. We've got stuff going on like uh, deworming the cows. Bridget's out there just petting them right now. Uh, we usually harvest our pigs in the fall as well. So we did that and that's why we have the smoker going because we have some ham and some bacon that we need to cold smoke to make our ham and bacon for this year. Joe Beefy is our new bull that we got a little while ago. And he's really getting used to us now. Really loves the petting and brushing now. One of the reasons we can take advantage of this smoker so easily is because we built the CoolBot cooler downstairs in the basement. Uh, I'll put a link here or here or down in the description as well. You can click on it and check out how we built the, uh, basically a cold room using the CoolBot and an air conditioner. It works really well so we can take our time butchering the animals that we harvest here on the farm and then again we can use the smoker to make our own bacon our own ham we can smoke cheese fish all that kind of good stuff so let me walk you through the process of how i built this so the main purpose of a smoker is to produce smoke so you're going to have to start a fire somewhere uh, start it smoldering so what I used was an old fireplace I got from my uncle. You can use anything similar to this, an old wood stove, a metal box. You can even use, say, a metal uh, baking pan and start your little fire on that as long as you have a way to capture the smoke coming off that and lead it into your smoker. I use some regular household ductwork, uh, the metal pipe. You don't need it insulated or anything like that. You just need some sort of conduit to carry the smoke from where your smoke is being produced into your smoker. It can be square, it can be round, it can be anything as long as it allows the smoke to be, to be carried into your smoker. For making the smoke itself, I don't have any wood yet, any apple wood or hickory or anything like that. In the future, we'll be harvesting uh, branches and such from our apple trees and I'll use that for smoking but right now I just buy commercial of commercially available pellets uh, hickory apple regular hardwood and I'll use that to do the smoking I'll pile a bunch of pellets down inside the stove and then just take the propane torch and get it going on fire then it'll go out and continue to produce the smoke as it's smoldering. So I built this one entirely out of plywood, some two by fours, some trim, and I'm not particularly keen on the plywood. However, we did use it. Uh, you just don't want to try and use, you want to avoid stuff that has glues and chemicals and other stuff in it. What I did though is I ran the smoker, I allowed it to smoke for a few weeks actually before I used it to try and create like a coating of smoke inside. I figure that might help protect the food from any chemicals that might leach out. Inside, I had some extra metal shelves laying around. So I just stuck them on to allow me to put the meat on. I've got two by fours on the inside to hold the shelves. And then we just set our meat or our cheese or our fish on top of the shelf. And you can see at the bottom the ductwork coming in, which allows the smoke to come up and fill the entire smoker with the smoke. Because we're doing a cold smoke on the meat, we want to try and keep the temperature down below 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's why we do almost all our smoking in the fall. And it's actually when we harvest everything too, all the pigs, the cows and that. So it allows us a perfect opportunity and a perfect time 
using those conditions to smoke. So I hope you found this useful, informative, and helps you build your own smoker. There's a lot of features I kind of put into this one just because I wanted to, like the covered shelf here where I'll eventually stock some wood. Uh, the angled roof, just because we get so much snow here. However, if you don't get a lot of snow load, then you don't have to put an angled roof. You can just put a flat roof. And even with something like this, it's so tough, I guess, with the two by fours and plywood, you could put a flat roof and have no problem with the snow load either. So it's up to you how you want to build yours, but it doesn't have to be anything fancy. It can be easy. It can be stuff you have around your homestead as well. So thanks again, guys, for checking out this video. If you have any questions, put them down there into the comment section, and I'll be sure to answer them. And be sure to hit that like and subscribe, and see you on the next one. Thanks again, guys. Love you.